Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Miss Faye and this is my world. Okay, today we're going to talk about a sensitive subject. Is your man jealous of your success? Okay, all right. Before we get started, I want to say welcome to the channel. Welcome to all of the new subscribers. Welcome to all of the new viewers. And welcome to all of the family that's been with me from the beginning. I really appreciate all of you being here. Now, uh, let's dive into this subject. Is your man jealous of your success okay I'm gonna start uh, start this off by talking about me okay because uh, I like to to talk about my experiences with these things to help you to avoid these pitfalls okay uh, I was with the man and uh, I had uh, a business I had a business and the business was doing pretty well and uh, the, the man that I was with, you know, of course, he's there, you know, when I'm doing business and that kind of thing. So when engagements came up, he would try to downplay it. Oh, you don't need to do that and all of that. I, I had an opportunity. Uh, I was a photographer at the time. And I had the opportunity uh, to uh, take pictures of uh, at a celebrity a function. And he, oh, he talked it down. Oh, you don't need to be doing that. And, oh, they too old anyway and all that kind of stuff. And I listened to him. You see? And he tried to sabotage a lot of uh, business deals that I had. It took me a long time to realize that it was from jealousy. That's what it was. It was from jealousy. Because he didn't feel like he could produce it, or do it, or be it. He's jealous of me for being able to. You understand? And these men will sabotage you and your business if you allow it. Um, I know when we have our partners and we're trying to do business or whatever. It's important that your partner is supportive. If he's not supportive, he is not going to be good for you in your business. You see, a, a many partners now, I've had partners that come and steal from the business. Yeah, still, I've had partners who, um, before I went into photography, I was a painter. And uh, I had uh, a man at that time, and he would steal my work sell it and I never see the money for it this is all a part of just being jealous and taking advantage of and I want you women to be uh, alert to this because as you build yourself up and this is what I recommend build yourself up and be all that you can be and don't let anyone anyone turn you away from seeking your goals and people will people if you discuss your goals with people oh they'll tell you all what's wrong and why you can't do it and how much it's gonna cost and how you're gonna do this and how you're gonna do that that's why it's better that you just work on your goals and don't discuss them with anyone now I it's that's hard if you're with a mate and you have a goal in mind and the mate may not be supportive of that the mate will do everything to hold you back and you need to be careful and aware of that you know what do you do in a case like that for me uh, the relationships didn't work because I would not allow anybody to stop me you understand? No matter what they said now, you know, they threw some bumps in the road and stopped me from doing certain things that may have helped my progression 
to grow a whole lot faster. And so they, they slowed it down for sure. But they didn't stop it. And this is the, my message to you. Don't allow your mate, a man, to stop your dreams. To stop your dreams. And, a, and men will do this because they're jealous of you. They are jealous of you. They will steal from you. They'll stop you from being your very best. You understand? They will cause arguments just to, to keep you in confusion and just to stir that up within you. Don't let this be. Don't let it happen. Now, we're not talking about men being jealous uh, 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 about you being with other men. We're talking about men being jealous of your accomplishments. Okay? Of your accomplishments. Now, uh, men are jealous. Now, I did pull a little uh, video here. And I want you to watch it. And this lady is explaining some things about men being jealous. Okay? Here we go. Just because you're a woman, that doesn't mean men can't be jealous of you. There are some people who will attach themselves to you because they either want to be who you are or they want what you have. And they know that the closest that they can get to ever being you and having what you have is to sit right next to you, envying you. And these same people will encourage bad decisions and the things that are not best for you. They will encourage you to hate yourself and the things you have. Meanwhile, the day that you stop being you and liking what you like, they become you and take what you have. Now, just like she said in the video, people will attach themselves to you because they want to be you. They want to be you. And they feel like if they can destroy you, then they can step into your shoes and, and do what you're doing and get what you're getting and all of that. You know, it, it, it it's demented. But we need to be aware of these kind of people. Of these kind of people. You, you understand? It takes a warped mind to think that you can take that person's energy and essence and be that other person. It To me, it takes a warped mind to even think like that. You see? That you can be somebody else. You can step right into their shoes. Now... I know that there are, I've been with men who feel like they could uh, take the gifts that I have and work them for themselves. You know what? <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck with that. And what they're trying to do is make you feel some kind of way about the things that you can do when all the time they are trying to do it. They they are trying to do what you do naturally. You understand? And uh, this comes from jealousy. You know, everybody comes here with their own gifts. And it's up to them, you know, to cultivate those gifts. That they'll grow and, and uh, help to provide a better life for them. But people are lazy. They want to they wanna steal it from somebody else. They want to steal ideas from somebody else instead of going within themselves. Going within themselves and trying to make something of themselves. You see, because women are becoming more powerful and stronger and more confident, there are men out here who just feel like, let me attach myself to a woman and ride her coattail to the top. Don't allow that. Cut cut those <laughs> what they call the, the things that stick on the boat at the bottom of the boat and you knock them off. Those. Cut them off. Don't let them attach themselves to you on your way up. Because the, the further you go up you'll find these men trying to attach themselves to you. And these are lazy men men who Men who are just dreamers. There's a lot of men out there who are just dreamers. They can't bring anything into fruition. But they can dream big dreams. 
you see and they can come to you and tell you all of their big dreams what they're gonna do and what they a lot of these men can't do any of those things and and women you need to be aware of that don't allow a man just attach himself to you while you're on your way up the ladder and if you if you're at the top of the ladder don't allow him to, to attach themselves to you now most of these men who do that I'm going to tell you tell you a little secret some of these men come into your life they want to manage you don't fall for that trick they want to manage you you see because they have the management skills and they are gonna manage your career they just coming to take from you to take from you their management fees and whatever and mess with your money and whatever and before you know it you'll be all messed up ladies be alert and be aware of these men who just come to take advantage of you and what they'll do is that's why I tell women do not date men who have less than you see that prompts jealousy you see he'll act like oh he's supportive of you and oh he loves you anyway but you have all of these things that he wants that he knows that maybe on his own he can't get it so he attaches to you but then he's jealous because you can do it after a while he gets jealous you see and then he'll then that's when the attacks start the attacks start on you that's why I'm saying women don't date down date up date up and you can avoid these parasitic men who want to attach to you and hurt you and hurt you they're only coming for your resources for your and see they are secretly jealous that you have these things you see and that's why most times when they come to you after a while they don't treat you that well they don't treat you that well they're jealous because you can do what they can pure and simple now I'm not saying all men are like this and they're not but it's a lot of them that are especially you women who are successful or on your way to be successful and I hope that most of you are and those of you who already have it you're already uh, financially stable and all of that watch out watch out for these men who don't have what you have you will never suspect that they are jealous of you and that they are there to bring you down now I've had men yeah who feel like yeah well I'm gonna knock her down a few pigs you see that's jealousy that's jealousy and I just want you to be aware of it and to look out for it you see because it's everywhere it's everywhere men can get jealous of your success although they want to attach themselves to you to get what you what you have but they're still jealous because you were able to get it and they weren't okay so I hope that you understand this and and be careful with whomever you let into your energy it's very important now I have a letter here that I want to read um, and this was about uh, a smear campaign okay I have moved into a weekly room and made one friend I thought I have been hanging out at their room like they are close to me only two months later figured out that they were not the person I thought I'm 28 years old I live alone and I used to do security when I lost my job she went around telling men that she knew I was a hoe the attention I was getting 
from guys who think I'm beautiful turned into harassment and a reputation that I did not set for myself. I am a young, ambitious entrepreneur, and now I cannot build my own reputation because whatever that has been said has become a trend. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. I have no help or family and did not know that she was even looking down or talking down. Now I feel stuck when all I was doing was staying to myself anyway. Not to mention that fake friend is a fake woman and copies me wearing lashes and hair like me. I felt betrayed and don't know if this person liked me or basically never did. I need a real solution that I can do by myself because I feel it's not fair for me to have to move with no help and I'm waiting to be able to get a car and a new job. Okay, here we go. Jealousy. This girl smearing your name because she's jealous of you and that's why she's copying you just like just like the girl said in the the video there are people out here for some reason they spot somebody and they want to be them you see and they will if they are able they will attach themselves to that person while trying to tear that person down and they feel like this way they can grow and be that person it, <laughs> it's a ridiculous mindset I, I don't know how these people are thinking this way that they can actually morph into somebody else it's demented if you ask me and for you in this smear campaign if I were you I would just ignore it the more that you give energy to it the more it's going to grow. Ignore it. You understand? And don't, and don't, and these men who are, are harassing you, if you ignore them, after a while they'll leave you alone. They'll go to somebody else. Don't put fuel on that fire. That's what they want you to do, just to keep it going and destroy you in the process. Do what you do, be who you are, and ignore these people. You understand? Don't try to uh, to date any men around there that know these people. If they all got the word, don't try to date any of them. Period. But your best bet is to ignore them. And let that energy pass you by. You understand? And I always tell people, you know, to come back and work on yourself and all of that. And that's important to raise your vibration above this toxicity. But, uh, yeah, this, this girl is definitely jealous of you. And that's why she's trying to destroy you. And to be you. You see, it's something about you that she wants to be. You're saying that she's copying your hair and your lashes going around looking like you but then talking about you that's what these people do and men will do it too men will do the same thing they may they may not wear your hair and your lashes but they will want to be you especially if you are doing something that they feel they can't on their own you see men men can try to be successful women it's, it's what you have. It's, it's, it's not the gender. It's what you have that they are jealous of. And they feel like if they can be you, then they can have what you have. You understand? These people are lazy and they're not willing to work on themselves. They feel like they can just morph into somebody else. And I think it's just demented thinking. It's demented. So, um... My advice to you is to don't put fuel in this fire. Stay away from these people and continue to work on yourself. 
and get your monies together so you can get your car and a new job and eventually you can get uh you can move to a better setting for yourself continue to work on yourself and don't let anybody hold you back or make you feel bad about yourself ignore it like it's not even there and eventually they'll go to somebody else okay that's my advice on that one okay now here we go with another one my husband really blames me for his work life meaning he hates his job and his work schedule his schedule is flexible and very demanding and my husband is 58 he has a trade skill career. He only wants to work Monday through Friday, eight hours a day. With time, the job has flexibility and he hates it. So I told him to try and take classes and so forth and try to step up and move out in the future to another job. But he asked me how can I have a good time or enjoy myself knowing that the job is treating him very unfair and he's unhappy at work. He just keeps blaming me and he's sucking the life out of me. Okay. From what I understand is that you are the one allowing this to happen. You are the one allowing this to happen. You see, your husband not being happy on his job is his concern you understand now if your husband is uh the one that's financing your uh living and your support then i can understand why you would be uh worried about him and his job you understand but if you have your own income and can take care of yourself I don't see where, where this would be an issue you understand so I, I'm gonna assume that he's the one that's working and bringing in the income and he's blaming you because he doesn't like what he's doing you understand but he feels like he's got to do it to support the family this is what, what I'm getting from the letter okay now Here's the thing. You said it right. If your husband uh, is not happy with what he's doing, then he should go for something else. But he must like the money that he makes. That's why he's staying on his job. And I know a lot of people who stay on jobs and they hate them. They hate their jobs. But they need the money to survive. Okay, so they stick with the job and they just complain, complain, complain. And that looks like what you have here. Now, you know, you can stop listening to it. You understand? You can, you can just blank him out when he's complaining about his job. You've already given him uh, ideas about how he can improve the situation. And he doesn't seem like he's interested in that. Now, you may just have a person that likes to complain. There are people out there who just complain. And these people are toxic people. You know, understand? He may complain to everybody about everything. Who knows? But regardless, it can be draining to you and detrimental to your well-being. It's best if you kind of you know, you're in the same house or whatever. But you don't have to sit there and listen to it. You know, go to another room or go somewhere else. or You know, listen, put on some happy music. Think about happy things. You know, read a happy book. Do something else to occupy your mind when he starts complaining. You understand? And after a while, he'll realize that you're not entertaining that. And it's possible that he will stop. It is possible that over time he will stop his complaining when he sees that you're not listening to it. You're not putting any more fuel into his fire either so he can burn. 
You see, there are people that get enjoyment out of confusion. You understand? So when there's no confusion, they'll bring up confusion just to keep it going. They, they get energy from that. And if you feel drained, it sounds like he's an energy vampire. And he is draining energy out of you. That's how you can tell if you are with an energy vampire. If you're feeling drained. Somebody's draining your energy out. And you spotted him. He's your husband. Understand? So somehow, you need to distance yourself from his complaining. Block it out. And take care of yourself. Love yourself. You've already tried to help him with his job. He's not interested. So I wouldn't give him any more advice on that. I wouldn't. I would just go into myself and take care of myself. Make sure that you are happy. Do things that make you happy. And disregard his complaining. Disregard his complaining. You see? Apparently he's just one of those people who like to complain. And it's not much that you can do about that. You can't change him. You can't change people. People are who they are. You see? And you hook, you hitch your wagon up to him. You see? So now you got to deal with it. But you can distance yourself from his complaining. And that will give you some peace. Some peace of mind. And you know, go out into nature and take walks. That helps to bring back balance into your life. And makes you feel better. You see? So, I hope that my words have helped you some way with this uh, situation. But it just looks like your husband is a complainer. You see? And... Uh, there's not much you can do about that, but you can guard yourself from that. Okay? So, now, here we go. For those of you who would like to send in a letter, and you'd like for me to answer your letter, here it is. Send your letters to World at hotmail.com. Now, um, I will either answer your letter through the email, or I will answer answer it on the air if I feel that uh, it is something that can help the collective then I will read it and answer it on air but if you desire for me to exclusively respond through the email just state it at the top of your letter that you'd like for me to respond through the email and I will comply to that keep your letter short Try to keep them to one page, okay? Just summarize your situation and ask me the question. And uh, I will get back to you, okay? Just be patient, all right? And uh, your answer will be coming. So um, I hope that um, I was able to help someone with this message of um, men who are jealous of a woman's success. Men who are jealous of a woman's success. And uh, one of the letters where we had a woman who was jealous of another woman. So it can go either way. It can go either way. I just decided to talk about men being jealous of successful women. Be careful of that. Be very careful of that. Because if you look around, you can see some of the results of that. Where women who became successful hooked up with these men who call themselves managing them. The man steals all the money at, that he can from the woman or whatever. And tries to hold the woman down. Do not get caught up in that snare. Just be careful. Okay. So. 
I wish you all well, and I hope that I was able to say something that can help someone in this message. And um, thank you so much for your comments. I appreciate them so very much. And thank you for your donations. I wish you all well and happiness. And I hope to see you next time.